Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play Transport Fever 2. Welcome back to Longdale. This will be episode 24 in the series, and today we are going to work on um, expanding this lumber line and uh, maybe looking at the bus lines and uh, adding more construction materials too because we have this lumber line going in one direction and then coming back with construction materials. But what I want to do is we have pretty much all of it is being shipped already. But what I want to do is get more, uh, more forest connected because this one is already pretty much maxed out. Although I suppose we could get more trucks on here. Yeah, we have a lot of overloaded cargo there. So let's go ahead and double the trucks on that line. Let's come in here and find... Uh, that's not where I want to go. I want to go here. We want road, cargo, Dartford Forest 1. This one. Uh, no, that's not the way I want it to go. Why do I always forget how this is done? This way. Here we go. Dartford Forest 1. That's what we want. We want to manage vehicles. And we are going to double them. So now there's 20 trucks on that line. Now out here we have another one coming down to here. And that one definitely needs more trucks. Dartford Forest 2. Let's manage vehicles. And we are going to... Actually, we'll get 30 on that. This is going to be a very, very busy road here. So we're actually going to upgrade this road. Because I want... Although even with more... It's not going to make a, a difference because they aren't going to pass each other. And the fastest they can go... Let's check that. The fastest they can go... 16. So as long as our road speed limit is more than that, yep, that's fine. All right, well, that's that then. We'll have a pretty quick turnaround in there, and then up here, yeah, I think it'll be fine. So now let's get more connected, though. Well, that should up the amount. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. And you know what else we need? We have this freight down here. Do we have that delivering? RC materials. No, we didn't end up with any on there. Okay, so we're going to get more of that. We'll get 10 of those. Put them on Dartford materials. All right, so they're going to come out here. Now, here, we want to expand this a little bit. We're going to get cargo. Get another one here. And then I want... wonder if we do... Station exit there. Can we get an entrance here? Yeah. Put an entrance there. Pause the game. We'll get an exit here. So hopefully that will make it a little bit different. I mean, we're going to have a backup at some spots. But we also want to come in here and terminals. We want each one of these on a different one. One, two, and three. So they're going to stop here. You know, let's see if we can get another entrance. Yeah, we can. Can't get one there, but we can get one here. Maybe that'll work. We'll see. Somebody sent me a a link to how it looks when you have, or like how these are designed. 
and uh, I forgot already what it looked like, but okay. Anyway, let's get this one connected. Now, over here, I think we can do these ones by train. Because the issue here was that it was such a tight squeeze going up and down the mountain that we couldn't really get in there with a the train. But here, I think we can. I think we can come around this way, make our way down. But we'll get this one first here because that should be easier. And we want a terminus. And that can go over here. I wonder how long am I going to want that train? Train depot. Let's see here. Uh, steam. Do this one. And then the flat car. We can do 40 capacity and have it go frequently. That might make the most sense. Is there a better engine? You could use this one, it's half the cost. Uh, but yeah, see, they get so expensive. Okay. We'll do that. We're going to do a shorter one. Uh, we'll do 120 so we can have a little bit more length there. We'll get this here. I don't know that it needed to be two traps, actually. But that's fine. We'll bring it down this way. I'm just going to just join in there. I think we can just have one single track coming down this way. And come out this way. And here we've got a really big thing here. That is not what I wanted to do. This is what happens when I don't have contour lines turned on. Okay, so here we're going to come around. Take one more out there. Okay, now come back and this is going to curve this way. So that we can bring it downhill. And then over this way. Yep. And then down this way. We want to pull it in to the station like that. Now over here, we're going to bring this in. Uh, where is it going to come in? If we come in here. What we could do is these two could be coming in. I think that's what we end up doing. This comes this way. that goes there. Let's take those out and get this back in. This can come out this way. Then we can get a crossover in each direction. And then this can come over this way. And this can come down here. come over like this and then we'll get another track can't get that one there we can cross here and that's just going to connect the depot there okay then signals we don't need any in there we do need a signal here, probably. Well, actually, you know what? Let's come back for a moment. This needs to continue this way. And then down here, we'll cross over. 
like join in there. There we go. Let's take that out. That should work. Okay. So then we want actually no, that does, yeah, it does. No. We want to come in here and we're going to make this go a little bit further. So this will come down this way. And then be a single line. And this one needs to connect to that track. Okay, now signals. We want one way, yes. We have one here. And one here. Okay. So that should get that going. That'll come up this way. We can do a new line here. We want to go from here down to here. And we will call this apparently the Alsager Forest uh, Train Cargo. Train Cargo Alsager Forest Full Load of Logs. Okay, and then we're going to get a train. This one. And then, what did I say that was? 120 meters? So we can get that many on here. That'll work. There we go. So now we have more coming in that way. Which should be good. We should be getting a pretty big production out of this sawmill soon. Where are all the trucks? And we've got a traffic jam. Of course. So they're all trying to come in this way. Let's redo this then. Although, how, how do I want to redo this? Let's get an exit here. So they're all, you know what we can do? We're going to change this one to an entrance, maybe. No, that doesn't work. It won't go in there. Can get that there. Let's try that. So we have a line there. Yeah, see, they all want to be there. They want to load on this side. I wish they would have just turned in this way instead. Put those on terminal one instead for a moment. Okay, now put them back on terminal three. Now we have plenty of entrances they should be coming in. Now where, why did you turn this right? You should have turned that way. They only want to go out this way. If we have... Here, I'm going to put another one of these here. We're going to take this one. Oh, no, I don't want to remove two modules. No, I want to only remove the one module. The one in the middle. Oh, no, that's very frustrating. I guess we'll keep that back out. I don't need that one. What I need is this to flow a little bit better. So they're coming in here, and then he's going to want to turn left for some unknown reason. 
Apparently they don't want to drive straight on this part. But that's okay, he has the space to turn around. He's trying to unload. And then he'll come out this way. I think this is clearing up. Let's speed it up. Perhaps. We'll see. These guys are trying to load, actually. They're the materials line. Which we don't have any materials that have been delivered yet. So, of course, they are taking, are like going very quickly. Or, like, not. Okay. My brain is not quite putting this together yet. I'll have more coffee. Maybe that'll help. Here come more trucks. In the meantime, where's that new train? He should be delivering logs soon. He's there. He's loading up. Okay. So that will get there. That's going to come down here to the sawmill. We have three suppliers to the sawmill now. And we're just waiting. Yeah, so we've got all that coming in. I kind of feel like I should change this. So we have exits here. What I want to do then... They will come in here, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, this this should be fine. Are these more materials? No, these are the forest people. These are all the materials. Oh, that's forest. Where are they trying to go? They're all going to different ones. Everybody wants to come in on this entrance instead of coming down here. Which is rather annoying, but that's fine. I guess then they can line up and get to their correct spot. It's just this guy is then having to wait. All of them. Yeah, he's just trying to turn. Now, I wish that I could make this just bigger, but it doesn't give me that option. Though maybe if I do this, if I do that, what happens? Yeah, that might, might have worked. So this guy is Still waiting. Wish you would go to the next stop. I think reversing won't do any good. Oh, maybe it did. Okay. And then we've got a whole bunch of trucks waiting there. So that is coming along, though. We have lumber waiting to be picked up by that lumber train, which I have no idea where he ended up. Let's come over here. Materials. We have materials. Oh, this is tools. We don't have materials here yet. Here comes... Oh, that was... That was... What does that do? That's interesting. I didn't know I could do that. I wonder what that does. I'll have to look into that. Now we have materials here. Construction material has been dropped off by the train that is now going very quickly and not making money. Actually, no, he, he is making enough money. And it's going quickly because we're on, speed, uh, on a high speed. So yeah, we have materials here that are... That should be working now. Let's come back over here then. Here comes that train. He's making a lot of money. That's good. 
So he doesn't have any material, uh, words today, I tell you. He doesn't have materials on him, but that's okay. Alright, but that is where we're going to leave it today. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.